Hi and welcome. Thanks for joining us as we take this opportunity to take a look at everything Google Suite on your iPad. So let's get started with today's lesson. So let's take a look at Google Sheets in this video and how again it compares from the web version to the app version and how we can get it onto our devices really really easily. So first of all I'm going to jump into Safari and again there are numerous ways that you can get into this. If I type in sheets oops, dot google dot com, it's going to take me directly into my sheets. I'm already logged in on my device, so therefore I already have access. I'm going to change the account, just go to that uh, practice account that we've been using so far, and you'll see that I have access to everything um, as before couple of other ways that we can get into this. Obviously, if I'm in any Google Suite uh, site on my device, I have access to the waffle um, and I can just tap on Sheets to go straight into it here. And then finally, like we did with Docs in that video, if I tap on the share icon, I can add this as an app link on my home screen. So just go ahead and tap on add there and you'll see that I'm now starting to build, you know, quick shortcut to my drive, quick shortcut to Google Docs. I now have this one to Sheets. So Google Sheets, again, you know, the, the nice thing about using, um, you know, the Google Suite platform is that, you know, there's familiarity with how things are set out. So again, I can quick start any new spreadsheet here. I have my template gallery that I have access to. Um, you know, so really, really quick and easy way to get started with anything. Um, I also then, if I scroll down, the plus icon appears here to do the same thing. So, you know, if you're starting to have a look at previously created uh, sessions, you still have access to all of those things. And, you know, because I'm in Safari uh, Viewer, I have that option of the three dots on the side to be able to, you know, create new things, to share things, remove things, um, open it in, in a new tab so that I don't lose my kind of start point. Um, and I can have that as a separate document. So if I go to open a new tab, I still have Google Sheets here and I have that one that I've opened up on this point. So, you know, really, really simple way to just utilize how we do things. Um, but let's jump into what a sheet looks like. So again, you can make that comparison to what things look like on your desktop if you're doing this on a computer or a laptop and see that the similarities are obvious when you do this on Safari, which is that desktop um, quality browser on your iPad. Again, when I first go into a new sheet, because I have uh, deleted the app off my device, it's going to ask me to, to get the Sheets app. We will uh, grab this a little bit later um, so we can actually do that comparison. But at the moment, I'm just going to say not interested. So we just free up that space. And again, similar to if you've watched the Google Docs video, you'll see that I still have access to everything that I need to um, have access to the same as if I was using a laptop or a desktop. So that's the real power of doing this um, on my iPad is that, you know, I, I mean, I've got the, the keyboard attached at the moment, but even without the keyboard attached, I can still, you know, type into any of the boxes. The other thing is I'm more mobile. So when we're starting to think about, you know, recreating, redefining what learning looks like in a classroom, thinking about a spreadsheet as just somewhere I input data um, is one thing, but actually because I'm mobile, I can enhance this slightly. So being able to, you know, go into insert, go to uh, insert the image, go into image um, over the cells or in the cells, whatever. Um, you know, I have access to the camera on my device. There we go. Take a photo and insert that. And, you know, all whilst I'm sort of active and moving around, I can start to, to you know, develop that spreadsheet. I think about this when I'm doing like traffic surveys with students in the class, you know, they can stand outside and start to take tallies and, and note things, but also equally useful, why not take photos of the things? So you kind of add that um, real life context to your spreadsheets. And again, because I'm utilizing the power of one uh, program such as Google Sheets um, on my device, but also utilizing the power of the iPad being mobile, um, everything is stored in the same place. Again, similarly, we still have access to our calendar, our notes, um, and our tasks, um, you know, all down the right-hand side. So again, things that you're used to using, I can still quickly share this to any of my students um, or staff, and I still have the Explore tab to be able to, you know, go into more detail about additional things, um, you know, formatting of the document. Again, this isn't a demo on how to use Google Sheets. This is just showing you what Google Sheets looks like 
on the iPad. So let's take a look at what this compares to from the point of view of the app on the iPad as well. So I'm just downloading and installing the Google Sheets app. Um, and once this opens up, we'll be able to log in and do that direct comparison. Now I'm gonna do this again um, in that split screen mode so that you'll be able to see which one uh, works probably best for you. So if I go ahead and open Google Sheets, uh, it's gonna first download, so it's gonna take me through the, uh, the setup. So I'm just gonna quickly sign in. So use this uh, training account. There we go. So this is what Google Sheets is going to look like um, from the app view. Again, if you're familiar with the video that we did on Docs, you'll see that similarities are there. Um, instant access to previously created documents. Tap on the plus, have the option to those templates. So I still have access to all of those. Um, it's probably just a, a cleaned up, simplified version of what you would do if you were using the web browser. Um, so let's take that direct comparison and jump into this. Um, there's our, our untitled spreadsheet here with just a photo of me on it. There we go. And if we open that uh, same document on Google Sheets, we'll find that photo is in there. So you know it all it all works the same way. You just again have you know limited options in terms of you know I've got easy access to all of these tools across the top to be able to do my formatting, insert, etc. Over this side, you know. They're, they're just limited in terms of what I see in the screen any one time. I also don't get the, the quick access to these things down the side. But, you know, again, similar to what we said last time, if it's students using this, they might just want access to these simplified things. Um, and again, you know, it's a quicker way for them to be able to add in uh, images, etc., because it knows that I'm working on my device. It's going to give me that option to just take it from my camera. So, Again, it's choices, it's different ways of approaching things. The one thing to note though, if you have downloaded the app, it's going to open straight into the app. If you don't want the app uh, to open each time, you're gonna to need to delete it off your device and that way you'll be able to do it uh, via your web browser instead. So there we go, Google Sheets on the iPad, in Safari and via the app.